tips for API 575 training course module one. There is no negative marking, so answer all the questions. You can increase your chances by narrowing down the possible correct answer. To do so, you strike off the wrong possible answer. Hold the mouse on possible wrong answer and right click. This will strike them off, helping you to concentrate on the remaining possible right answers. All API questions are multi-choice for possible answers. API never uses terms such as none of the above or all of the above as possible answer. Remember that all questions carry equal mark. For example, a simple question asking for a symbol of magnesium or manganese has equal mark as that of a half a page long question. Although time management should not be an issue, but use your time wisely and keep a tab of time versus number of questions answered. You need to keep a constant uh, uh, progress. Remaining time versus question number can be found on the right top corner of your computer screen during the exam. Set aside 15 to 30 minutes for reviewing all the questions once again, or at least reviewing those questions that you are in doubt and flagged off. It's recommended to flag off those questions that are taking considerable time and come back to them at the end. There is a flag off button next to each question. When solving the doubtful question, try to understand as why a particular answer may be right, while the other three given answers should be wrong. Eliminate wrong answers uh, to increase your chances of picking the correct one. Please note that sometimes the wrong answer is quite a valid statement, but it is the wrong answer simply because it's either not relevant to the question asked, or the question asked is in negative form. Hence, it's very important that you carefully read and understand the question. Some API exam questions contain irrelevant information. This is not aimed to confuse you, but to verify whether you can differentiate between relevant and irrelevant information in an actual scenario. Some questions are solely based on your experience as an inspector. API calls them practical questions. Remember that all certification requires certain level of exp experience in addition to the education and knowledge. API intends to verify your understanding of principle and theory, interpretation and evaluation, so mere memorizing the facts and figures of the study material does not really help. Although a few questions may come straight from API study materials, most questions are either rephrased or brought within a context or is within a scenario, where the question and answer are swapped. Hence, it's very important that you have a clear understanding of concepts and fundamentals. Time management is not normally of great importance, but please note that using the toilet, checking out and in, you have to go through the same security check when you check in. Commenting on any question uh, is all coming off your allowance. For better time management, flag off the question you are not sure of and revisit them once you have completed all other questions. Try to eliminate the absolute wrong answer by negative reasoning in order to increase your chances of getting the right answer. Remember that all questions carry equal marks. The passing grade is roughly 70%, so it's logical to attempt smaller questions quickly and then in the remaining time try re-attempting those questions that are longer, more complicated, or you are simply stuck spending too much time on a few questions without much progress. Try to pace your progress against the time. That is, you should be roughly on question number 50 or 55 after one and a half hour or earlier. Although education can offset for less experience, you should appreciate the fact that unless one does not have real hands-on experience in the field, it would be difficult to feel the underlying reason behind some, some of the code's standards and recommended practices. The experience is gained through observation, power of deduction, and it's ultimately the common sense really. Use common sense, reason it out, is likely the correct answer to a very easy question. A lot of questions are derived from basics, definitions, meaning, scope, exclusions. So, because this exam is a basic level, you should know the very basics very well. Sitting for exam can be stressful, especially for this exam. Try to sleep early the night before and stop studying the exam on the exam day. Just peruse the important parts of the reference documents 
a look at the figures and charts, and especially our flashcards for around half an hour maximum. Let your brain rest. You need to be alert and full of energy to endure the day-long core exam. Thank you for listening.